a brief look at today's agenda. We're going to start uh, with an overview of Application Express. By the way, if you hear me use the term APEX, that's just the abbreviation for Application Express. We'll follow that up by looking at some of the features available within the product. And we're also going to take a look at some other solutions, some of which you may be using today. Lastly, and actually hopefully we'll spend about half the time here, we'll do a demo where we'll explore a little bit of APEX. And we'll also build an application from a spreadsheet. Okay. Let's get started by answering the all-important question, what is Oracle Application Express? Well, simply put, APEX is just a web-based application used for building web-based applications. With APEX, you can very rapidly build applications on top of existing Oracle tables and views. APEX is browser-based, and this is true both while developing and running applications. There's no client software required. So everything you need to develop applications can be done via a browser. One of the key words often associated with APEX is declarative. And this just means that we use a bunch of wizards to create applications and other components, such as pages and items on those pages. And subsequently, we use definition screens to modify various attributes to get things exactly the way we want them. This declarative approach makes APEX very easy to enhance and maintain as everything is presented in a consistent manner. When I think about APEX, I like to think that it fills the void between Access and Java. On the one hand, Access is very simple but limited in features. On the other, Java is not really limited in features but is so complex that it usually takes a lot of time and resources to produce any results. APEX, on the other hand, is both easy to use and feature rich. APEX is built directly into the Oracle database, so it's also easy to integrate with other database features, some of which we'll see later. SQL and PLSQL are the main languages used while developing an Oracle. And I'm going to be honest with you here, some experience with these languages is very important to create all but the most basic of applications. So you can do some, some basic application development, but eventually you'll need some skills with SQL and PLSQL. APEX is since 11G, I'm sorry, 10G, Express Edition of the database, it's been integrated in. With 11G going forward, all versions of the database come with APEX ready to go. Now, the version of APEX may be a little outdated, so it's important to upgrade as soon as possible. But this is something the APEX team has made very easy to do. APEX is fully supported. In fact, there's a dedicated Oracle support team which specializes in Oracle Forms and APEX alone. APEX is described as a no-cost option for the Oracle database. You can develop as many applications with as many users as you like within existing Oracle database license terms. Simply put, the database is not free, but APEX is. Here we take a look at the overall architecture of APEX. And this is, is really three parts. On the left, we have the web browser. And on the right, a database. And in between the two, a web listener. Now, the exact configuration of that web listener can vary, but the overall result is the same. The web browser communicates to the web listener, which forwards requests over to the database and into the APEX engine. The APEX engine then uses its own metadata, combined with the data from your tables, to generate an HTML web page, which it then returns back to the browser through the web listener. This works on all Oracle databases from version 9i R2 or better. From the beginning, APEX was designed to support multi-tenant hosting. Here we see an organization divided into three departments, each of which has its own needs, therefore its own applications to support those needs. As you can see, each department is mapped to a separate workspace within Oracle Application Express. Now a workspace is really just an independent development area. What I do in one workspace will not affect another. 
also notice that each workspace is mapped to one or more database schemas. These actually contain your data. Organizations today are doing the right thing by using the enterprise database, which is professionally managed by IT. It's backed up, secure, and scalable. But more is required to break down isolated applications and data silos to provide cross-application integration, reporting, etc. We need to be able to build new applications as quickly as the market moves, and we need to ensure that all obligations are satisfied regarding data access for compliance. At the same time, IT budgets are shrinking, so we need to work smarter to meet demands. And this is where Apex really shines. Apex is targeted at the rapid application developer, the RAD developer. He just looks cooler than the rest. Apex, really is best suited <laughs> <laughs> Apex is best suited to departmental applications. Now that's not to say it can't be used for enterprise applications or that end users can't develop their own. There are many examples of both. But this is the target. This is where it really shines. Now on the left, under the business user in red, you see Apex productivity apps. If you have an Apex instance installed, you can go to oracle.com and download any of 30 applications which have been developed by the Apex team and use them as you like. You can use them as they are. You can modify them to better meet your own requirements. Or you can just use them to learn more about Apex and how applications are built. Since Apex was first released in 2004, there have been eight major releases. HTMLDB was renamed to Oracle Application Express in 2006 due to complaints about the original name, but it's really the same tool. Before being released as HTMLDB, the tool was known as Project Marvel. Now, WebDB is often confused for Apex, but it's actually a completely different tool with no shared code. WebDB predates Project Marvel and was further developed independently as the basis for Oracle Portal, but these are separate products. People were worried for years that Apex was going to be a fad, that Oracle was not behind the product, and this is no longer the case. With over five years of history now, the product is stronger than ever. Even AskTom.com and the Oracle Store are built with Apex. Think about that. The Oracle Store is built with Apex. Here we take a look at some of the features within Apex. And this is divided really into three main columns. Many RAD tools provide widgets, etc., shown in the first column especially reports and forms, the ability for our users to view and manipulate data. A few even have features seen in the second column covered as well. Validations help us ensure that data going into the database conforms to our business rules. Web services and email services are very important for any application that's going to involve workflow. But how many of them have included the third column out of the box? Translation services can be used if you need to run an application in multiple languages. That's supported in Apex. Authentication and authorization security is built in as well. Session state management, logging and monitoring, all this available out of the box. Another feature that became available with the 3.1 release of the product is known as interactive reports. Interactive reports empower end users to customize the data presentation to meet their specific requirements. The developer simply defines the report data. And then the end user can manipulate the information as required rather than the developer having to deliver multiple static reports. Of course, actions can be disabled by the developer if necessary. <laughs> 